Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, we are staring down with a mean glare. A three-hour chart of CKB Nervous Network. It's April 12th, 21, 8.15 a.m. Central Time. Let's go. Now, what do we have going on here in the last couple days? Well, we've got a double bottom. Now, we've triple bottomed off this 200 moving average since April 7th, which is a great sign because we are painting an incredible trend line uh, that seems to, to really be holding well. And we are definitely in a uh, short squeeze or a squeeze uh, right now. Uh, you can see I was starting to think that we were going to uh, form an ascending triangle based off this here. However, we did have a recent spike yesterday evening, so it's kind of looking more like a symmetrical triangle. Um, and if this is a bull flagpole, then we would have a, a bull pennant, uh, which would be huge on this scale. But anything can happen, in my opinion, at this point. There's still room to break this 200. However, the lows are getting higher. So I'm really, really liking that. And we, we are getting some, some higher highs out of this with this last spike yesterday. All right. So let's kind of break this thing down a, a little further on a high level. Again, let's go ahead and throw up some Fibonacci. And I'm going to go ahead and measure from this head of this head and shoulders now. And look for an event. Uh, April 14th, 1 a.m. ish. So there could be a pivot point here around that time. And it seems like CKB is always making moves early morning or at night. It, it just always kind of seems like that, to, at, at least to me. Uh, but uh, so we have a late night banger here. And uh, so something to be careful about. Um, you know, hopefully we see a retest at uh, the four and a half cent level. Let's keep these Fibonacci time zones up and let's look at the channels here uh, that we are potentially, keyword is potentially trading in. Bear with me one second, folks. So as you can see, we are really kind of uh, forming an ascending triangle as long as this fills out uh, to this time zone here. Uh, then we would definitely uh, see this triangle happen. I'm thinking this would be a great launch spot too because there really isn't anywhere for CKB to push sideways or trade sideways for any any longer. It's if it's going to trade within this channel, it's being forced to make a move right here. Um, if we see this break this channel and really break this 200 badly, we could be in for a bearish run. I know that we've just had a huge sell off. Uh, that's just something we need to consider all of our options here. Uh, one thing I do want to say is that if we look at the four and a half cent level, uh, you can see that CKB will need to try half as hard to get there uh, as it will uh, as it as it tried on uh, March 25th. It ripped from 0.0179 all the way up to four and a half cents within like four or five days. Incredible. Now look at, we've reconsolidated and uh, now we are looking to maybe rip from somewhere in the neighborhood of three cents up to four and a half cents. So it needs, it doesn't need as much oomph to get there. Now, is this going to be the pattern we see play out? Are we going to see the, the uh, you know, the coins start 
ripping on the 14th and maybe see a new high of this or a retest of this four and a half cent on the April 20th uh, Fibonacci time zone, there's a good possibility we might see something like that happen. Um, and, and if that does happen, uh, you know, I could definitely see uh, maybe a cup and handle form. Uh, we may be looking at a new high somewhere around May 4th uh, if this thing takes off from here. Uh, you know, I, I definitely think we could be seeing some some higher price points uh, should this cup and handle scenario play out. Because this would be a cup and handle that would be over a month long. A pattern that's a month long. That's huge. Uh, typically, the shorter patterns will fail more often than not. Uh, but this would be a great sign to, to see something like this happen. This is not financial or trading advice. This is just wild speculation, and that's all it is. Uh, wild, educated guess. But as far as the head and shoulders pattern that I was warning everybody about, uh, when we are back on April 7th, I said, watch out. We may see the, the uh, inverse head and shoulders pattern. Well, it formed. Uh, like I mentioned in previous videos, they don't have to be perfect all the time. They, are very, they can be very sloppy. So we have that going for us, folks. Now, there's not really much else to say in this video, so I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, we're going to have to still wait. For the next couple days, maybe till tomorrow, April 14th at 1 a.m., to really get a handle on which way this thing's going to go. I think at this point in the game, this April 14th, 1 a.m. Central Time, is going to be a very important pivot point. There's only two ways to go. I think around this time is when we're going to see this thing start ripping. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to keep it a little bit shorter. If you want to support the channel, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. I know I truly appreciate it. And let me know in the comments below if you have any other coins that you're looking at or you want me to kind of check out. Hope everyone has a great Monday. We'll catch you guys later.